What's up everyone? It's time for another episode of Rex Bunny's Battlegrounds. And this time, let's try something different. Let's play on the original map of PUBG, which is known as Arangel. Originally, this was the map that was in the first alpha release, but it's also quite good. Of course, I like the grasslands more than the desert, but who knows, it's your preference. Anyway, it's time for me to drop down the next area, and one of my favorite areas where I used to jump uh, is uh, the shooting range. And the uh, thing is, I then jump not in into the shooting range itself, but under the bunker that is located right underneath it. Here, I show you. There are several other players that are landing right beside me. They are landing inside the shooting range by itself. But as you can see, there is a tiny little bunker, and when I land near the shooting range, I tend to go inside the bunker itself. So I am in the bunker, let's check out how these three are doing. They are already engaged in the fight with each other. Activate is running with a weapon, but as you can see, melee is quite not a match for someone gunning with shotgun. Obviously, Vulona heard the gunshots and is about to check out on the other player. Oh, he was so close! Wow, he actually managed to make a kill. Okay, now there's only one player left alive. As for me, I already finished looting the bunker. The weapon uh, that I got with me is uh, old good AKM. Oops, wrong player. Anyway, so I'm trying to track the remaining player. My strategy when uh, going into a shooting range is to loot all the weapons and other good stuff in the bunker, then sneak behind and try to snipe out uh, the last remaining player standing in the shooting range. Uh, it's a strategy that usually works most of the time. As you can see on the map, there are five other, several other players in detection range, but what's more important is uh, my own uh, fight with Vulona. Yeah, that fight is actually going to happen. What's more important is to always keep sight on uh, the other player without being detected myself. But for some reason, I lost the track of Vulona and was unable to find out where she is, so I decided to head to the far side where supposedly to be a car. I'm planning to get a car and use it to drive to the nearby safe location. I thought there was a car over there, but apparently I was wrong, the car wasn't here. Oh, it actually is. Yeah, so my secondary plan is to grab myself a ride and try to the next safe location. I don't have any helmet on me, so I will probably get myself some helmet. At first I would like to check if the, if the other player is actually still there. But on the other hand, I suddenly decided to change my mind and go straight for the other side. Lona noticed me, but at that time I'm already gone far away from the shooting range. And now look what happened next. While I'm getting away, Lona has also found a vehicle, a motorbike. She's taking her time. She starts with her bike and drives off. Oh, I guess that hurt. Well, this is how it is. The bike does have some terrible controls, so things like that happens quite often. 
anyway back to me i already got to the nearby settlement and uh, but still no helmet well, i do appreciate all the other stuff that comes here The safe zone is quite far away, it's all the way down south. I have to get to Sosnovka Island in order to be safe, I believe. So until then, but I still have my car, so I should be safe until the circle actually starts to shrink. Meanwhile, I expect 007 for some of business to drive to the place where I am hiding right now. I immediately noticed it and start shooting. And this time I have to play aggressively since I already wound it. I have no helmet so it's all my own reasons to play aggressively. Level 1 helmet is not quite a good deal but it's better than nothing anyway. And, as you can see on the map, there is uh, nothing else for me to do here, the circle is about to shrink soon, so now that I got some extra loot, it's time for me to finish up the things I started and get to the safe zone as quickly as possible. Oh, there's a little 2 helmet. And I cut a little 3 backpack from the military bunker. Just one more check. And I guess I am done. The circle is starts to shrink already, so it's better to move fast. I still have a quite a long way around, but I should be able to get the chest fine. The main question is how I'm going to get to the Sosnovka Island. I can either use the bridge, which is incredibly risky, or find a board nearby Fairy Pyre or another place nearby the shore. The main problem is Fairy Pyre is probably be teaming with enemies, uh, and Plumosk might be a risky location too, since it's also in the safe zone right now, so many other players would be likely looting the stuff over there too. What I still lack like is armor vest. I have level 2 helmet, but I don't have any vest to protect my chest, so I'm gonna need to make a quick stop over here and find some uh, body armor. A police vest level 1 or level 2 or something like this. Hell, if I like it, I might get a military vest or level 3. Even the guy who I killed recently didn't have any armor on himself. Of course, it all goes down to whoever gets to spot the enemy first. But still, armor can be quite important in such factor. Oh, I got myself lucky, there is an armor outside. The circle is rapidly shrinking, so I should get, take a quick peek at the other crease, but after that I'm going to get away from there as fast as possible. Prioritize getting to the safe zone above everything else. I 
As you can see, there are not many enemies, not that I expect anyone to be here at this point of the game, unless they have vehicles too. actually replace my body with UAZ. The UAZ is usually safe to drive than the body since you are not so exposed in front. But I decided not to go and just keep driving. Now I'm in the safe circle, but I still need to keep, to keep driving. I need to find a better way of getting to Soslovka Alad. As you can see on the minimap, there are plenty of enemies around. And uh, generally, I have the, the same feeling too. So... I shouldn't stop here. That's myself being uh, shot by some random snipers. Because there is a good chance that they might have a sniper rifle like R98 car. Even if they don't, they'll probably uh, take the car from those who got killed by them. And the safest place that I'm about to stop is... Village. And to be uh, honest, when I watched the play, I saw that I actually made a good decision. Uh, out of those settlements nearby, as you can see, this is the only settlement that is so safe from enemies and not looted. Other two, Primorsk and Pyre, they are still teaming with enemies, as you can see. There are several of them in Primorsk city still looking, searching for their loot. And of course, the Pyre. There's also some really hot actions inside the pile. Hmm. Well, I have the guns, I have the good scope. What else do I need? Maybe some more ammo? And maybe a military vest. I finally found one. Now I have level 2 helmet and level 3 military vest. Still, level 3 helmet will be nice since it will prevent me from being insta headshotted by anything other than AVM, the ultimate sniper rifle. The car or mouse rifle is quite a common sniper rifle at this point. It can uh, kill uh, with a headshot anyone who is not wearing a low free helmet. I have only no two, so I should be careful. And this I decided to use the board to get to Sosnovka Island. I see another player far, far in the range, but I don't have a dedicated sniper rifle to take him down. And my primary priority is to get in the same place instead of hunting for other players. That's how I usually play. Because when it comes to range now, I'm not quite as good as many others since I'm not quite used to some other guns. For example, I suck at shotguns that are not as tricky. I prefer to play cautiously. Meanwhile, Alessi B engaged in shootout with Sibin. He was about to take his board to get away board, but uh, noticed the other player and chose to kill him instead. Of course, he wasn't the only one who noticed it. Boy is also uh, getting to that point too. And the circle is... Uh... Oh, by the way, 
I noticed that a loot crate dropping back on this wall, so instead of heading to Snowfall Island, I chose to head back to where that loot crate is. So thanks to that, you can finally observe what is happening between uh, those two. I don't think that we know where they, they about each other. Maybe at least one of them. Wow, that's talking about getting close and personal. And as for me, I already got myself to the loot crate. Inside the loot crate I found the Grossa replacement for AK and kill the suit. This is the loot that I was in the military crate. Inside is a military west as well, but since I already have, I have no choice but to keep it inside. I got the Grossa ammo compensator and kill the suit. Steve Nangao is taking uh, the boat and getting away. Wow, look at that! Benji Boy just sniped out this guy with a sniper rifle. This is what I am talking about. The sniper rifle can easily turn the tides of the battle. And he was armed with car 98k nonetheless. And as you can see, I already uh, equipped my people suit. Many other places you can see the map. Also, choosing the board as the safest alternative on getting to the other side. And some of them are already in Sosnovka. I have to pick my landing spot carefully. Okay, this is not good. Uh, the sea zone is originally far away from the beach where it's supposed to be. I might not be able to get on foot in time unless I land somewhere closer. So I decided to stop at this place. In order to take a full advantage of my killing suit, I chose to drop behind my melee weapon and my sidearm, the old AK and only leave Grossa as the one and the only primary weapon. That way it will be much harder for enemies to detect me in the grass. But now I need to climb up the, this mountain and I should get, the, get as fast as I can because the circle will be shrinking soon. Man, even if in the version of new mountain techniques, uh, climbing up is still incredibly difficult. Oh, come on! <sighs> you know, there is always the other way. There is also the other part of the shore that is not covered by circles. I'm gonna take the boat and drive back. No, this can't be happening. The board has to be stuck. So I have no choice but to climb up on this cliff. And the problem is how I'm going to do it. The circle is going to shrink soon. I have to figure out the way of climbing up there. <sighs> come on, come on. Now the hardest part is this jump. Maybe if I can make this jump, I will be able to climb up.
got to patch myself on adrenaline syringe that I also found all there. <sighs> I have to hurry, the circle is starting to shrink. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> ah! I was so close! But I can still try for more. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! And the problem is, even after I climb up there, I still have a lot of place to run. <clears throat> I know I still pump it with adrenaline, but I still... That is not going to be enough to withhold the damage of the circle. The circle is already closing on me, so it's my last chance. It's a do or die. Yes! Now, how am I going to climb up there? Uh, so close! Come on, come on, come on! Mm. How I'm going to climb? Mm. Mm. Stupid climbing mechanics. <coughs> now I'm back down again. <sighs> Gotta heal myself up. I'm going to climb one last time. I can't die here! Not at this place! Not like this! I have to get up there! <sighs> come on, come on, come on! <clears throat> and now the other jump. Now if I only get up on the other ledge. Only if I can make that jump. Uh, 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 I still will board. Maybe I can still get it up. But before that, I still need to heal. I have two more medkits, but look how far away from the circle I am right now. And it's about to close again. Okay, first I need to heal myself. Then try to uh, get that boat up. Okay. Yes, the boat is moving. I still have a chance of getting away. But I need to get up as fast as I can. And this time I should try not to get my boat stuck. Okay, now I need to burn all my food to get uh, there as fast as I can. The enemies are uh, doing their best to hide in behind the trees and in the grass. Benji boy, that masterful sniper, is about to uh, go to head where Pedorasina is. As for me, I'm rapidly losing the health from the ring. It's getting even more damaging than before, but I'm getting very close to the safe zone. I have to get there as soon as I can. I'm out of medkits, so it's a do or die. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Uh, now, uh, just a little more! <laughs> yes! I made it! I survived! I survived that goddamn ring! 
I'm out of medkits totally, but my guild suit should be able to help me to stay hidden. All we have to do is to get to the next safe zone before the circle starts to shrink again. Benji boy is trying to lose the other player with grenades. But Dorashina has no idea where is uh, his opponent. And Benji boy has the perfect chance to strike from behind. Well, not the perfect. As for me, I'm doing all my best to take advantage of my Gilly suit. It allows me to perfectly blend with air environment, getting uh, enemies harder to defect me, which is important because I'm running out of medkits. I just recovered a little of my health with remaining adrenaline charges, but uh, that recovery is not going to last enough. So if I'm about to get some medkits, I have to kill someone and then take the, his medkit. But more importantly, I have to stay myself undetected in order to get that face first tag. As you can see, my cover is quite perfect. If I'll just sit out there, even you can't see me behind all that grass. Everyone else is trying doing their best in order not to be detected, but they don't have a gear suit like uh, I do, so they are more easily detected. Drew managed to get safely behind his cover and use his time to heal up. But the other player is using grenades to blow him out. Drew is taking his time to heal up again, but uh, Kafnir is not going to be nice enough to allow him to heal. As you can see, some of the players are already dying inside the ring. I see the other player on the far side, but my gun doesn't have a silencer. Oh wait, maybe that it does actually has. Do I have a silencer? I think I have compensator or something like that. Yeah, I think my gun has a suppressor. Gotta crouch and stay undetected. Like a ninja. Hey, who's that over there? Another player? Wow, I'm lucky to sp get to spot my himself first. Now I can loot some medkits, but more important is to stay crouched, and I have to use his medkit uh, quite fast, because the circle is about to shrink again. And once it starts to shrink, I will have no more time for crouching. I have to run. And now, also I'm in a safe area, I have to stay crouched once again. And to patch myself up with pills that I also found on that player. Only four players left alive. That means if I can kill either of remaining three, or if they will let themselves kill each other, then I'm a golden. And I see Benji Boy right now. He is behind cover for us all. I should get myself behind cover too. <laughs> 
The ambush will attack worked quite neatly. He didn't even notice me even when I started shooting. And yes, my uh, gun, uh, my gun actually has the suppressor, uh, so it actually helps me st be staying undetected. But the hardest part begins here. I have to move to the se next safe circle, being out in the open, with Gil Sue being the only thing preventing me from being detected. There are only two other players left. I have only one gun with me, the Groza. The heart is staying behind the rocks. Saboteur is also crouching, but because he doesn't have kill sweet like I do, he is more easily exposed. And this guy, he actually noticed me, but at the same time he starts taking damage from a circle. He's trying to take their time, but this circle is more damaged than expected. He dies to a circle, now it's just me and... It's just me and the other guy, and the problem is, the next circle is uh, in difficult location. And I thought that uh, that guy was still shooting at me and still alive, so I tried to make some shots. But now that I can see, he's clearly not there, so the remaining guy has to be somewhere on that side. And the problem is, I have to get out of my cover in order to face him. But I probably can crow stay undetected if I just crawl along the road. Not not gonna happen. The moment I get out of grass, it's over. Yeah, I didn't win this. This guy did. But still, getting to the second place with three kills is also nice. And uh, you know, winning in game like this is very hard. So I should be lucky that I made it this far. I could have died much earlier back on the beach in the circle, but... I'm actually quite surprised that I made it this far, and the give suit uh, helped me too. Oh well, maybe I'll get better luck next time. Well, thank you for watching this episode of uh, Fox Vanis Battlegrounds, and I'll see you in the next episode, folks. Don't miss me out. See ya!